Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you are staying safe. Um, I wanted to uh, get this video up. I had just saw it um, a couple days ago. Um, it's a very another um, thing to think about when you are out there on the road. And uh, this one uh, actually pertains to when you're going to the public restroom. So um, I never even really thought of it. Of course, I am older, but I do always think, try and think about you know my daughter, my youngers, my daughters, my sons, my grand children, everybody, how they can stay safe or went out there because this world has just gone away, especially this year. So anyway, I am going to cheers with you guys. I found, well actually Callie found Lemoncello first and then I just went up to my CVS store, just I think to get some toilet paper. Lemoncello, you guys, I, we found it, it's back by LaCroix. It is so good. I, it's not like the lemon, they have lemon too but um, Lemoncello, so good. I'm gonna keep it in the can because it's so cold, and but it's good. And um, cheers to everybody out there to being safe. Mm. I, it's just got more of a zing than the regular lemon. And if you can find it, try it. It's really, really good. But anyway, um, this, uh, this girl was, uh, put her story out on Instagram and um, her name is Sunshine Love and no E-A-A. -A. And uh, when I looked this up too, when I was informed of it, um, it was, you could you could see it. Now her uh, uh, Instagram is uh, private. So I don't know if she got uh, uh, just an overwhelming response or hate or whatever. And that's usually when people go private, there's just so many people on there and that's too bad because it's private so because i was going to say you could look it up on her instagram uh but it she went private so i'm going to read it to you because it is really important it is really something to think about always uh, i myself i just i go to the bathroom and don't think about it um for my girl i know if i'm traveling with the girls if they go you know and i'm not gonna do that we're always gonna go in pairs if possible always go in pairs um, this is not just for women. This is for men. This is for young boys, so young kids. Don't ever let them go by themselves, you guys. You just don't know. I mean, they could drug them so fast. Say, hey, you want something to drink? Especially little kids. But I'm, I'm going to read her story because it is, it's, for me, I'm like, God, I wouldn't even have thought about it. But it, it happened here in California, and it's happened right around, if you, if you drive to Mammoth and back, listen to this really really carefully too but it could happen where you guys are at so here's her story here's her um what happened to her she goes on the day home from mammoth yesterday at the pearsonville shell gas station on the 395 so remember that if you stop at that shell station eric and i stopped so i could use the restroom there were a few people ahead of me in line and in front of me and um a woman about my age was in front of me and I noticed right off the bat she was glancing at me every now and then but I didn't think too much of it so I really had to pee so I was looking at the map they had on the wall trying to distract myself she was making phone calls in Spanish and then proceeded to FaceTime someone I wasn't paying attention until I realized her front facing camera was directly aimed at me and I could see the guy she was FaceTiming. At this point, I started listening in and that was when I heard her say, do you like this one? I froze. I thought to myself, this cannot be happening. I didn't think beyond that moment. I just ran. I ran straight out of the gas station and across the lot to the car. I couldn't breathe. I saw the man she was FaceTiming standing right outside of the doors of the gas station. He hung up as soon as I ran out. I got in the car and locked the doors immediately and told Eric, go right now, just go. As I'm getting into the car, I see the man walking towards our car and then pass our car on the passenger side. There were no cars beyond us, so no reason to walk past our car. Eric said that he was originally waiting in a car on the driver's side. I needed to make this post because the reason I originally started listening in on her conversation was because I remember reading another girl's post about how she noticed 
She was being watched on FaceTime call in the aisles of a Target. After talking about it to Eric, he told me he saw a post about how young women will pose as one of your girlfriends and inject you with something to make you incoherent, then walk you out of the bathroom saying, oh, she had a rough night and take you to their car. My heart has been in my stomach since this has happened, but I'm just grateful I noticed when I did and God protected me. So girls and women, please be aware at all times, if possible, go to the restroom with someone and always be on alert and on the lookout. That story, I hope will help you guys to stay safer and that is my goal I you know if I hear anything I will bring it to your attention because I know a lot of times you guys are busy working busy with family and you don't have time to hear this stuff but like I said it's for everybody guys kids um, I've seen little like five-year-olds go to the bathroom in the outside bathroom of a gas station by themselves I'm like I it must be the place to lurk and the aisles of Target. I mean, who would think so? Just, you know, if you see somebody, there's, you know, when actually when you're out and about, you don't see a lot of people talking, waiting to go to the bathroom on a phone. So that's a clue. You know, if you see somebody have their phone out, watch them. You know, if you're standing in line, watch them. Don't, you know, don't be distracted. Get, don't be on your phone. Don't, like I always say, just be aware. Don't be on your phone. Watch, watch the people, you know. Um, that is just so heart-wrenching. I'm so glad she made it out safe. And um, so, yeah, I, I wanted you guys to uh, be aware of what's going on out there, you know? Whew, makes my heart, heart go fast. So. Even on my road trip, and maybe by the time this is up no I won't have I won't have left yet but on my road trip I have a lot of safety precautions um I have my mace I'm having uh that of course and um what else am I a taser I'm gonna have that in my jeep because the only time I'm really gonna stop is for gas but I'm gonna have that readily available um I probably uh have the mace on, on us uh, like a bracelet so it's available if it's in my jeep it's not gonna do any good if somebody is coming up and i'm out there filling up the gas in my jeep also they always said when you're filling up cash you can't get inside your vehicle well you know i don't know if that's real but anymore i'm getting in while it's pumping my gas because you always had to stay out there i don't really know why um let me know if that's still a law a rule or whatever but um i will not be doing it and you guys shouldn't either uh you know get it in and get your you know nozzle in and then jump in the your vehicle because sometimes it takes five minutes to pump get that gas in if you have a you know really big engine so um uh i just uh want to here's another story i saw from ireland baldwin i don't know if you guys have read her story uh she was on instagram this is her photo and this is how she ended up all bruised and um i'll read the story uh, for you um, it said yesterday in the late afternoon I was attacked by a woman who was high out of her mind on drugs and desperate for cash she decked me in my face in a parking lot and took my belongings and jumped in a getaway car while her husband took off all was sorted with the police and she was arrested luckily I had witnesses and got assisted really quickly the cops told me this happens now because people are so desperate for money so there's another thing, you know, be, be really, really careful. If, I mean, if somebody's coming up to you and you don't know them, run, run somewhere. If you don't have your car close by, run. Just run and scream and yell. I, I can't um, enunciate that enough. Just yell if, if you're in an open park, if you're in a parking lot and you don't see anybody, or, you know, just yell and I bet somebody will come running and help you and scare them off. So. You know that is uh such good more good advice um it's just unbelievable it is just crazy but we all can be safe i uh still gonna be on the lookout for new stories and um how 
you might be in a situation that you might think is safe, but could potentially be dangerous. So anyway, keep that in mind, uh, but live your life, live your best life, you know, live your best life, but don't let anybody take it away from you. You know, we all have to stay strong in this time that is not always the best, but um, you know, there is some evil still in that world, you guys. So uh, I hope uh, I've uh, alerted you to um, some other um, things that could uh, happen while you're out there. So anyway, love you guys. Be super, super safe, please. I love you guys. Bye-bye.